Hey folks, BC7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Fairbell Farm. Yeah, I know we've done, uh, I guess this would be the third episode in a row, but that'd be a nice change if rather than just taking a month to get started on a farm, we did a couple of quick, quick runs in a row and actually got something done. So, we have all of the, uh, well, a good half of this field down for silage. And I am, of course, taking a day ahead now. There we go. And the corn is now ready for normal harvest. So, um, hmm, not interesting. The numbers on the dash are actually uh, showing the fill level. I never noticed that before. Right between the speedometer and the tack, there's actually a, a fill level indication. Very cool! <laughs> I like that. So, I hope everybody's doing well today. Let's climb out of the cab. It is a little dark in there. It is a heck of a misty morning here on the farm. I started nice and early, of course, because the crops are ready as soon as we got up this morning. So, here we are. 6.22 in the a.m. And looking pretty good. As you can see, I have straightened out our money. And no, I didn't buy a, a million bucks worth of goodies. I did the uh, buy something, sell it, and buy something and sell it, blah, 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 blah. Because so, that works pretty good. And seeing as this truck will hold just over two of these harvesters worth, it works well as well. And so far, this new home seems to be a decent choice. I've had any issues running it out here. We're almost full. So we might get to the end of the road. And nine. And we're full. And we're at the end of the road. Nice timing. Wow. 17,008. I thought it took 17,000. Oh well. I think a lot of things. Uh, apparently no. It holds a little more than that. I was going to use the... Uh, he's waiting to do our cultivating. I was actually going to use the Zill truck with the uh, swap body, but for some reason it does not do... Whoa, dude, here I'll let you buy as soon as you have it right away. It does not do corn, so that's kind of disappointing. Just like, I don't drive well. <laughs> yes, that's a large dump truck you're driving. That is not a little pickup. Alright. So with the passing of the night, although you'd hardly know it, you can't see anything out here. But with the passing of the night, our silage is also ready now. Whoa, 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 whoa. And where am I going? You silly donkey. Yay, yay, yay. Alright. So yeah, anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> the, uh, our silage is ready. So, uh, very cool. We can load some of that into uh, where it is needed. We don't actually have any animals yet, but I do uh, do want to fill up the mixing machine at least, because very soon, as soon as we finish tending, I guess we've got a couple of cornfields that have got to come down. I'll take the other two fields down off camera. Um, we'll finish this one up this episode and probably get the rest of it cultivated. Then we'll start seeding some other things. I'm sure we've got a few minutes here before he needs us once again. So, uh, run around with your head cut off this way. That is a cool old truck. I don't know that she looks so much the farm part, but... It is such a cool truck. <laughs> now, where are you? There you are. Do you have the right gear on your knee? You do not. Where did I leave your shovel? I thought I left it over here. Hmm. Now you're concerning me. But oh, right beside you. <laughs> it's darn near as big as the tractor, but I missed it anyway. Now, of course, our Iker is also uh, a front loader. But I thought we'd try this one, just see how she does. Because uh, it's kind of a cool concept. 
You know, kudos to the guy. This is actually version 3. I guess he had some troubles with the, uh, the first couple of versions that he put out. But, uh, other than that, really neat. I kind of like it. I mean, it's maybe not the most original mod out there. And now, we're definitely going to fatten up the bum on this thing. So, let's go to that particular part of town. Yeah, what should we put on here? Ooh, uh, 456. Now, uh, let's start with 600 and see what that gets us once we actually fill this puppy up with silage, because I know that stuff's pretty heavy. And we may not be able to even counter it with 1400. This is a Malmut uh, shovel. It's an oversize. Don't remember quite what it will hold, but... It will hold. Alright, open silo. There we are, look at that. Isn't that a treat? 11%, yes sir, e Whoa, come on now, behave yourself. Yeah. And 5,000, okay. So if we do that, whoa, 10 times, that will fill our silo. Alright, let's go back to this. And add a little more weight. I'm thinking, uh, what are we at now? Let's make it a thousand even. Because by guppies, that is just a little heavy. The only problem now is we may roll the tractor. But, uh, it's over here, is it not? Somewhere? Somewhere? Yeah. All right. Eek. I suppose we could put some in the. Uh, well, I guess it's too early, isn't it, for the uh, to put any into the bio plant? I don't think you do that till eight o'clock, if I remember rightly. Whoopsie. There we go. Probably be easier to do that from in here. Yeah, it is too. All right. Look like our harvester is full once again. But this is a start. Awesome. And at least now we know this tractor can more or less handle this job. There we go. And what I do like is it does have a, a pretty decent height to it. So we can actually use it for filling the... Uh, Fill in the bins when we get to that point. So there you go. Not too bad, eh? Not too bad. It does the job. Where are you, Mr. Truck? Here you are. Fine old thing. Oops. I think we need to... Uh, just briefly hop out here. And recover this. There we go. I'm coming. <laughs> it's halfway to the field, all right. Smart like truck. <laughs> Strong like tractor. Nothing runs like a deer. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where the heck that expression came from, but I used to hear that a lot as a kid. Strong like truck, smart like tractor. Nothing runs like a deer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they had something to do with the jocks in school or something. Who knows? I don't remember. I'd erase that part of my hard drive and remember it. In favor of remembering how to do things like put on my pants in the morning. You know how it is. You get old, you get forgetful. You have to give things up. <laughs> and here we go. Well, we are going to be nice up on the corn, too. How are we doing for goodies? Speaking of which, we got some cruddy weather coming in. Alright, the corn. Well, you can see, there we go, 49,000. We had same as these others in the 16 to 17 range, so not too bad. Not too bad. 
and we go compost seed all that happy stuff see silage it doesn't actually tell you but it seems to me uh, control B there we go we have zero compaction okay fill level of that one to be filled Mm -hmm. Liquid manure. Oh, okay. Wow, there's a fair bit to this. This is the uh, that silage hood. Okay, here we go. Here's the one that we've got that's got four percent. Okay, that's silo two. Silo three. Wow. So, uh, all right, and here is yeah, it's one we just pulled out of. All right, cool. So yeah, that's the silo hut. It does have a lot of information on it if you can actually uh, read anything that small. Hey, it's gonna take off without me, are you? Well, alrighty then. <laughs> See if I care, boy. Now let's go way up to the big Belarus. Would be very, very, very nice. Isn't this just an awesome look at this cultivator, man? That is some classy bumblebee looking stuff, I tell you. The Agrizem International. Yeah. Who doggies. Yeah, see how she does. Light her up. Alright, we don't really need all that in our face, do we? No. Alright, uh, why will you no lower it down? Oh, I think I just lowered the front weight, didn't I? Yep. Come on, pick it up, dude. Let's lower that down. Oh, it sinks into the ground. Very nice. Alright, here we go. Ning, 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 ning. Alright, that's a fine job. 15k. Choose it up and put it good. Oops. A little bit of one of them little micro thingy thingies. Everything just sort of zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Better not pull that sort of thing too many times. Uh, that's all good to go until we actually get some crops in the ground. 70% on the corn. Alrighty. Whee. This is our house, but that's not our car. Don't you kind of wonder about that? It's a lot of maps, eh? You show up, ooh, this is my new house. Oh, but look, the car in the driveway isn't mine. It belongs to somebody else. <laughs> Buddy, I'm gonna have you towed. Do you not understand the concept of private property? But of course that never happens. Did I run right by that other tractor? Yeah, I guess I did. One thing I really do like about this Belarus. See that? The exhaust is actually dynamic. And it drops down. He has to give her some real throttle to get the thing started. And then it drops a little bit as he gets off the stick because he's up to speed. Really cool. Wow. This thing uh, does not lack in any way for movement and particle effects. That's a, quite a splendid little cultivator, actually. Not bad at all. Huh. Impressive, man. Impressive. So, as you can see, we do have the chopped corn mod. I know, it says chopped straw, but I swear there was corn on this field. In fact, we can go see it in action. Oh. We should probably hop in our truck. We should probably do. I'm a coming, I'm a coming. Oh, oh, too late. Yep. And you always gotta stop, so I have to drive through through the corn. There we go. Do 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 do. So yeah, this uh, New Holland's actually a pretty nice looking mod as well. <laughs> Good gravy. See, not bad. Certainly up to spec. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of the little itsy bitsy, teensy weensy pieces you see on some of them, but... Uh, it's certainly more than reasonable. You know, it does have high definition graphics, that's for sure. So yeah, I like it. And it works, and that's the important thing. It does everything it's supposed to do. And it does have, um, uh, what you call it, the choice to either uh, leave a straw swath or not. So. It has that going for it as well. Now well, we might as well follow him down a little bit here. See if we can't get a little closer to a full load. I think we might actually take like 17.8 or something. No, we're gonna come up shy again, aren't we? Alrighty, that's okay. We'll take this back. Add it to our amassing fortune. Belarus must be up the other end. I think this whole truck will get up to speed if you give her a chance. Make sure you get up to more than enough speed if you give her a chance. We <laughs> get right down to it. Considering what you're actually driving, she gets up there pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that was not the brake pedal, dude. <laughs> oh my god, only nine people were killed <laughs> filming this video, I tell you. Oh boy. And on that bombshell, <laughs> I think it must be that time, because, uh, yeah, I'm uh, showing off my better side now. Look at me drive, everybody, look at me drive. 
Pizza, that eh? is so that we mean, we mean. All right, back we go. Rinse and repeat, our favorite expression in the farming business. Woohoo! Wanted that one like a boss. I almost thought I knew what I was doing. And it's through the bushes. Nicely done, you tuna. All right. Wow, look how much you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Way. And how's he doing? He's almost half full. Nice. But we are, as you can see, definitely making progress here. Well, maybe you can't see. It's pretty darn foggy. Although it is getting a little better, I'll leave it that. Yeah, we're getting there. This was a pretty big feel. We did manage to get all of that rest of it done with uh, the forage harvester, which certainly got a skinnier head on it than our harvester does. Oh. Well, that begs the question. Where? Oh, where? It's be a good place to get some. Stop, man. Don't make me put on your emergency brake. Where's a good place to get some grass? Anybody know where I can get some grass, man? <laughs> Just kidding. Don't try this at home, kids. God. We get in a lot of trouble one of these days. All right, well, there's a lot of grass here, but it has these things called trees all over it. I guess this whole section looks like it's a grass area, actually. And that extends all the way back up here, but again, with lots of trees. Hmm. <laughs> Ended hmm again. So, yeah, not too fond of that. Um, all right, well. It'd be fine, but just kind of ugly. Oopsie. So where would we maybe, 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 baby, find us? That's corn, and that's corn. Hmm. Maybe off behind that other field? Well, let's take a run down there and find out. It's not like we have to run back. We can use the magic of teleportation. Crazy man. Ooh. Quite the forest area. What the heck is that? I'm a freaking volcano. What the hell is it? Ah! Alright. Now... <laughs> All right, that's cool. No fall damage in this game, boy. Can't fool me. There's uh, pretty amazing things going on if you think about this. And no. Ah, okay. What do we got here? Oh, all right. I know where we are. This is the back end of my special pig farm. Hello, special pig farm. And do we have a grassiest meadow here? Again, not so much, eh? It seems where there's grass, there's trees. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Yeah. Hmm. Well, this is something we will have to ponder. I don't really uh, relish the thought of having to drag all my gear between the trees. So here's our biodiesel plant. We've seen these before. Hoop. And we're inside. That's amazing. All right. Yeah, there we go. It is the same one we have had before on other maps. Oops. All right. Apparently I can only do that in the front. And I can walk through that gate. Well, I'm going to have to uh, figure out. Hopefully we don't actually have to plant a grass meadow. I mean, yeah, there's grass around, but... It's uh, kind of treed up, if you see what I mean. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, maybe up there. Ow. Quit it. Uh, up past there. So just up. You see right up past the butcher shop there, eh? Hmm. We'll quickly run up this mountain. 
<laughs> I can say that because it's only a game. Hua, hua, hua. Oh, I hit a tree, man. Don't hit a tree, dude. There we go. Alright, we'll run up past here. And through the fog. To grandmother's house we go. Okay. Wow. Could you be further away? Hmm. So I'm thinking. Well, either side here. Oh man, is it gonna be more tree grass? Yeah, here's part of the grass. Well, that's not, uh, that's not so good. It looks like we may end up having to turn one of our fields into meadow. Because there's the area I was actually looking at, and as you can see, it's, uh, yeah, more tree grass. Hmm, is there a meadow up here? Ah, uh, <laughs> here we go. So there is a meadow. Indeed, quite a big one. Alright, well next time around we'll have to figure out how. How indeed. Do I have? I bet you I did not bring it. Under miscellaneous. Oh, how much is the uh, little flat deck? Do, 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 do. 5,000. We could afford that. Yes, we could. Yes, we could. Alright. Uh, it's our only other choice, I think, at this point would be this guy. And I'd like it, but it's 66k. Well, we'll see what happens, won't we? But I think that's going to end it for this time, guys. I'm going to uh, head back because, uh, yeah, now our uh, harvester is actually full. There he is waiting for me. So, I will get the rest of uh, this field done. And like I said, maybe get another one cut off camera. And next time around, we'll probably have to see about getting some grass. So, till then, if you enjoy the series, enjoy the map, enjoy the sound and my own voice, please leave a like. That's that little thumbs up button right by the comments, which you're of course going to fill out as many of as you care to, because I will answer them. Till next time, take care of each other, folks. Time for us to uh, get some more work done on Bear Bell. Ciao for now.